What's up YouTube? Welcome back to CLEO's Network. Today I am playing my week 5 match of the Omnipoke Online Play League. I'm playing against Jack from Omnipoke this week. And week 5 is theme deck week. And I'm not really a theme decker on PTCGO. So I actually just bought, I think, my first two ever theme decks I've purchased on PTCGO. Uh, 500 coins apiece, of course, for Soaring Storm and Unseen Depths. I'm just going to enter with two decks. Uh, because we don't necessarily have to have a third and when i sat down to play i had entered a bunch of events just to get coins to buy these theme decks and the rest of the coins just went through from events ending so i only had coins for these two so we're going to be playing with the kyogre theme deck and the dragonite theme deck known as soaring storm and unseen depths uh these seem pretty good from what people have told me i just quickly glanced over them and that's that's the plan so i uh i'm a theme deck format noob you may say we're gonna start out with dragonite dragonite is my favorite pokemon of all time and uh hopefully he can get us a victory here i'm not sure how experienced jack is in the theme deck format so we're about to find out but this is a fun week of the op op to see how we fare against each other with these pre-constructed theme decks of course shout out to potownstore.com the best place for you to get ptcgo codes use code celio for five percent off they have everything over there from packs to decks to uh league battle decks to sleeves deck boxes any of anything that's available you can find over there it looks like we've queued into the mirror match of Dragonite versus Dragonite. This should be interesting. We are waiting for the opponent to load the game. Okay, Dragonite coin. You love to see it. I've lost the coin flip. <laughs> Jack is going first. Obviously, he's tested the Dragonite mirror match, so he knows that going first is the way to go. Uh, we have got a pretty decent start. I don't think we can possibly get dunked in this mirror match, so starting with a lone Pidgey is just fine. <sighs> Thunderous Tornado, that's a pretty strong attack, not gonna lie. Pokemon Communication, that's pretty good. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Hal is actually a really good supporter this turn, so we don't have to shuffle our Dragonair back into our deck. So we're going to Pokecom for Dratini. And uh, we're going to Hal for three cards. Actually, we should have Howled prior to Pokecom. <laughs> that would have that would have been better how then pokecom hopefully draw into a dratini and get to just hold on to our uh our pokecom that would have been much better so first misplay in theme deck format has already happened attach your dratini pass now i don't think this deck has fion in it i think the kyogre theme deck actually has fion in it uh, so I'm I believe I my benched Pokemon are safe other than the thunderous tornado attack I'll have to look next time I search my deck since I Have looked at these deck lists a total of one time each as of now Cynthia I think next turn I honestly want a fan club out another Dratini maybe even a tornado uh, thunderous or tornadoes maybe another Pidgey we'll see there's a Grimer which has collect for draw two I kind of want a fan club here so this would one shot their thunder their tornado so that's really good i think we should just do this yeah for sure just do this because they're putting a ton of energy into this thing
we'll just let the Pidgey go down if they decide to attach another energy. If they don't, the Pidgey can survive even another hit after this. So countering their Lightning Weak Tornadus with our Thunderous seems good. Ah, a Thunderous of their own. This is reminding me of the good old days of playing kitchen table Pokemon where we just let these little guys sit out there and die or use like collect or call for family while we just set up one big Pokemon on the bench. And then our big Pokemon would just duke it out once they finally came out from the bench. Oh hell. Okay, the energy comes down to Tornadus. Very interesting. Even though it will get knocked out by Thunderous's, uh, Thunderous's Thunderous Gale. Here we go. Oh, we hit the Dragonite. That's so good. That's so good. Knock out the Tornadus. Wow. This deck is firing on all cylinders. Beautiful looking Dragonite too, by the way. Ah. <sighs> Who thinks they will actually find out what's happening with Dragon Pokemon anytime soon? Because they made an official announcement for uh, the retirement of fairy type Pokemon in the TCG, but they didn't say anything for Dragon types, but we have not gotten a Dragon type since the fairies got discontinued. So we could assume that there are no more uh, Dragon type Pokemon as well, but we never actually got that confirmed. Airmail, solid attack. <laughs> it's funny that out of all the theme decks, we both queued up Dragon Knight. Another Pidgey comes down. There's not much gameplay for me to really commentate with these theme decks. I mean, there's not much gameplay to commentate about in standard format either. So uh, forgive me if we have some lulls happening here, but we're just, uh, we're popping off here. We'll attach here, we'll Lily. We'll use this. Attach another here, knock out Pidgeotto. Uh, we'll bench our own Pidgey then, Thunder Scale Pidgeotto. Look at how slow the game pace is going though. I'm out here hitting them with a beat stick and I'm just at four prizes, he's at five. Game could still turn around, you never know. Let me know in the comments if uh, anybody watching this plays theme deck format and what decks are the best. I've been told that Dragonite, Kyogre, Charizard, uh, those are like three of the really good ones. And so I immediately was like, yeah, we'll pick Dragonite. Like, look at this deck box. It's beautiful. We got to pick Dragonite. Uh, and then Kyogre seems good if other people want to play Charizard. So that was kind of my thought process there. It'll be really funny if Jack brings Kyogre next after this.
Switch collect. Yep, because uh, it's not like I'm going to have a boss's orders in my hand. So we actually don't knock out a long Grimer in one hit. Mm, so we might just have to Raging Thunder. Yeah, we'll just Raging Thunder. We'll hold this in our hand because I don't know where it's going. So Raging Thunder Knockout, we have to do 40 to one of our own benched Pokemon. Also, something I've been wondering, are, is my volume for YouTube videos too low? Do I need to raise my voice up? Because my voice is always clipping in the recording mixer. But then when I upload it, it seems like my voice might even be a little too low. So let me know. I don't want to blast your ears out with the music and with my voice. But I also don't want you to have to strain to hear. So if I need to turn up music volume of the music uh, uh my volume of the music or volume of my voice you know let me know if any of that needs to be changed in the typical video something good to bring up when we're playing theme deck tournament and i don't have much to talk about really um so dragonite using its ability jack has gotten his own dragonite down but uh he has found himself with a zero card hand <sighs> So this is interesting here. Um, he's going to knock out my Thunderous, but I don't want to return that knockout with my Dragonite because then he would knock out my Dragonite with his Dragonite. So there's actually depth to this. There, there's real depth and decisions here. Does this have free retreat? No, it doesn't. Nothing has free retreat. Tate and Eliza, huh? All right, well, we gotta get a lightning energy, right? If we Tate and Eliza, let's do this. Come on, lightning energy. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and get a Pidgeotto. Grab Cynthia. I uh, will shuffle three. And Raging Thunder. We will put it on Grimer. So basically, if he has to leave his Dragonite active, then I kill his Dragonite with my Dragonite, and that's how I win. So neither of us want to be the first person to have to send up a Dragonite. Oh, but we've got Dragonite out in the active. Pidgeotto Airmail. He's looking for a supporter or two energy. Here's a Tornadus and a Giratini and a Lily for six. Okay, okay, okay. It sucks that like in expanded formats and old formats, if you want to play with your friends, Lily got so nerfed by the new rule that you can't play a supporter on the first turn. But on PTCGO, you can't pick to like change that for like theme deck format or expanded or well, expanded but older expanded formats or older standard formats or legacy or you know um it just sucks that you can't play friendly formats with your friends with custom rules or even have custom rules for old formats on the ladder 
or I guess it wouldn't be custom if it's on the ladder, but old format rules. So we'll send up Dragonite. We're gonna be taking the big important KO here. We'll attach for turn Cynthia. And we'll hurricane charge. Get two, we'll attach water here and lightning here. Pidgeotto. Get some more energy. I think we won this game. So we knock that out, and then we knock whatever else that he brings up. Uh, two water, one lightning. And that should be game. Uh, oh no, wait. I stand corrected. He could get the knockout here. Lantern does 140. If he evolves Dragonite here, that would actually be a really sick play. So if he evolves Dragonite, then can accelerate two energy onto Lantern. Or even just one energy onto Lantern. He only needs to accelerate one. But I have uh <laughs> I have my own lantern to follow it up. Alright, so he scoops and he wants to go first game two. theme deck and i cannot play my boy dragonite anymore so we're playing with kai ogre this time it's all kai ogre now and he's running it back with dragonite <laughs> little does he know i didn't bring a third deck so <laughs> i'm all in on dragonite and kyogre would i like to go first no jack has so kindly requested to go first oh we're starting with puku muku that i think that's our best one yeah puku muku is our best starter mm, puku muku This Pokemon did not have to get made. Like, nobody needed to create Puku Muku. Lots of energy. Okay. I hate Scampering Tail. It's such like a random effect. We'll bench these guys and then we'll call. I think we just want two pips. Pip pip the doodly doo. Yeah, we'll just grab pip up. <laughs> Surprise fist. Does anybody have a favorite theme deck? Like I said, I was asking, does anyone actually play theme deck format? I know some people enjoy doing the theme deck tournaments on PTCGO. What's your favorite one? I think the arts for the uh, the Heart Gold Soul Silver ones look amazing. The uh, the switch into Grimer. Wait, no, no, no. Does this have free retreat? Oh, Aqua Lift. Okay, look at that. Jack breaking out some skillful plays in the theme deck week. Golduck. Ao. Pretty good. This does 130. This does 100 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay. 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 Oh, wait, but this can attack for just one energy. 
Oh, that's really, really good. That's right. Okay. I was thinking it needed the, like, required energy from the previous Pokemon. That's sick. I don't have a way to discard cards so I can use high water. And uh, we can't call for family, so we'll just pass. <laughs> I'm just not going to use Scampering Tail. I just can't bring myself to do it. Oh, if they don't evolve Dragonair, we can just, like, destroy them with a uh, direct dive. Please. Let's go! The big swing turn in theme deck week. The crowd is going wild. Boom. I actually really like Empoleon too, so sick that I got to play with two Pokemon I really like this week. <sighs> That's actually disgusting in theme deck format. Oh my god, I can just attach one energy every turn and snipe something for a hundo. That's gross. I think these might be the best theme decks on PTCGO. We're gonna put that in the thumbnail. Best theme decks on PTCGO? Question mark. If the defending is a basic, uh, wait, wait. Do we need to kill? I can't see the board, can I? I want to see what's right up there. What's right? What's is that just another Pidgey? It's probably another Pidgey. Uh, we'll bubble hold. That's a Pidgey Yoto. Okay. I forgot what was next to Tornadus. Bubble hold uh, lets us keep the energy on. I feel like talking about the theme decks I sound like a junior at his first day at league because like I know these as like Kyogre deck and Dragonite deck like if you offered me a hundred dollars to give you the name of either of these decks I couldn't do it even though the Dragonite one is like really blurry right there on the side of the deck box I, I don't know the names of these theme decks Knuckle punch for 20. And then this can do 140. Okay. I could just one shot this though with Aqua Fall. Or do I want to take out Pidgeotto? Excuse me. Probably pretty smart to just kill Pidgeotto. We'll just do that. Take a nice three prize card lead. We got Ambipom coming up. I wonder if it would bother anybody if I called this Ambipam. Ambipam? That kind of actually bothers me. Alright, I'm not going to bother myself with that. <laughs> nice, nice catch and bye-bye throw. <laughs> Those names are sick.
Nice, nice catch. Thunderous Gale knocking out the Emperor Penguin. We'll just take a nice quick knock a rooney with bye bye throw. Let's let's draw let's draw a card. Uh, we have to discard two count them two energy cards from our hand. I'm stuck on energies because I was thinking, oh, this is the synergy. You discard energy with bye bye throw and then you attach them with high water. It's genius. Uh, we don't need this and we don't need this. Uh, do we need another primplup? Maybe. Probably not. We'll just get rid of these two. Bye bye throws OP. There's the Fiona. So this is a pretty hefty prize lead and we got an Empoleon on the bench ready to go. So we probably won, which would put us at 3-2 in the league. So I'm pretty hype on that because I really messed up. Uh, what was it? Week one, week one, uh, Little Dark Fury just absolutely ruined me. GG Jack. So week one, I think, I don't think I messed up week one, but I messed up with the decks I brought against Azul. I like said that I shouldn't queue Inteleon into him, but then I just love Inteleon, so I did it anyway, and I got uh, beat by Pika Rom. <laughs> but all right, yeah, so GG to Jack from Omnipoke, from the Omnipoke League. If you're watching this, there's like a 0% chance you don't already know who Omnipoke is. But if you happen to not know, make sure you subscribe to Omnipoke over on YouTube. They're holding this league that uh, myself and a bunch of content creators are playing in that's super fun. This was Theme Deck Week. And uh, if you are new, maybe you're watching this video because it involves theme decks and you're getting into the game well you can go buy the theme decks right over here for 500 coins in the in-game shop and you get the coins just by playing the game and these uh, are really good to you can like grind for more packs in the theme deck events so if you wanted to just get a theme deck you're on the same playing field with everybody else in these theme deck events and uh first place gets two packs of darkness ablaze and some more tokens so uh if you're just learning you don't want to put a lot of money into the game maybe you're younger maybe you're a parent watching this for one of your kids theme deck tournament is the way to go because everybody's going to be on a pretty even playing field and the dragon knight theme deck and the kyogre theme deck as you just saw are really good there's actually like technical decisions to make to make sure you're making optimal plays they're not just autopilots and uh it's also featuring some cool Pokemon. So hope you enjoyed this video for Theme Deck Week of the Omni Poke Online Play League. As always, shout out to PotownStore.com, the best place to get PTCGO codes. And make sure you use code CLEO for 5% off. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not already for daily Pokemon TCG content. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time here on CLEO's Network.